In this example, we have an application of fraction division. If part of a recipe for albondiga soup calls for three small potatoes, one and a half cups of salsa, and two pounds of ground beef, how much of each of these ingredients would be needed to make half of the recipe? So what we're going to end up doing is dividing each of the ingredient amounts by two. But let's start by writing out the ingredients that we have present. So we have three potatoes, one and a half cups of salsa, and two pounds of ground beef. Our goal is to cut the recipe in half. Our math work then is going to involve taking, taking each of the ingredients and dividing them by two. So three divided by two, that's our potatoes. One and a half divided by two, that's our cups of salsa. And two divided by two, that is our ground beef. So three divided by two is three over one times one half, which is three halves or one and a half. One and a half divided by two is, change the first to an improper fraction, three halves, change the division to multiplication, and multiply by the reciprocal. So three halves times one half gives three fourths. Two divided by two is two over one times the reciprocal, one over two equals two over two equals one. Now let's just check each one and make sure that our results make sense. Three divided by two is one and a half. One and a half divided by two is three quarters and two divided by two is one. Those results seem to make sense. With your check, unless you've done something wrong, your results are going to seem pretty accurate. And sometimes it's hard to actually um, demonstrate a check. But just make sure that you're looking at your results. So let's take one more step and write our final result as a complete sentence. To make half the recipe then, we're going to use one and a half potatoes, three quarter cups of salsa, and one pound of beef.